Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasa Valley. Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. This weather update is brought to you by The Widowmaker. Find them upstairs in the base lodge. And you can find this and much more on all your internet devices at our website, WSKITV.com. Well, partly sunny skies today. Uh, it be great out there skiing in about six inches of fresh snow since uh, yesterday morning. We're seeing partly sunny skies for the day today. Summits uh, up right around the zero degree mark with some gusty northwest winds. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. Base temperatures 8 to 12 degrees with a west-northwest breeze 15 to 25 miles an hour, so we could possibly see uh, some uh, lifts being affected by that wind, uh, so stay tuned. We'll keep you updated. Partly sunny skies for the day on Sunday. Another great day. Those winds calm down a bit. Summer temperatures warm up just a bit to the single digits, and base temperatures warming up into the mid to upper teens, so another great day to get out there and enjoy the new snow. Mostly uh, cloudy with some light snow on Monday, which is some great news. Temperatures moderate up into the 30s. We'll see uh, a low of 24 up towards the top of the mountain. Mostly cloudy skies for the day on Tuesday, and then Wednesday, another chance some light snow out there so that is some great news skiing and riding should be in great shape today get out there uh, grab those mittens rather than those gloves have that face mask handy if you need some uh, hand warmers head into the downhill supply company Birchwood Interiors brings you your trail report 107 trails of skiing ride on 12 lifts getting you those run 60 trails on the groomers last night uh, on the groomers list last night powder packed powder conditions and four to six inches of new snow in the past uh, 36 hours or so Central Mountain Grooming they hoped last night to get out to Timberline Tote Road Upper Double Bitter Spur Line and King's Landing as well as Hayburner the east side of Skidder White Nitro from the top Gondola Line from the top lower down on West Edge, narrow gauge, Competition Hill, Spillway, and Sluice, as well as Haywire, and all the trails around the base area got smoothed out as well. Over on the east side, you'll find fresh corduroy on Hallback, Ramdown, Whiffletree, Choker, as well as Flume, Misery Rip they groomed out, Lower Boomauger, Two Hall, Rollway, Whiffletree, Slasher, and Buckboard. That's a great trail. And West Mountain, Scoot, Windrow, Glancer, and West Mountain. So uh, pretty much something for everyone out there. The train parks got some work as well. There will be a competition and stomping grounds today, and uh, Drop Line is going to see some more uh, snowmaking in there. Sn uh, Snubber, Sawduster, Skidway, those get going first thing this morning to get you up around the base area. If you want to get a little higher on the hill, Double Runner East and West will be going today starting at 8.30. 8 o'clock West Mountain will get going. It could have a slight delay uh, due to some icing over there, but Super Quad and Skyline get going as well at 8.30. And 9 o'clock Timberline and the East Side Lifts, King Pine and Wiffle Tree get going at 8.30 as well. Tonight, Fire on the Mountain continues in the King Pine Room. Also, if you're looking for some uh, great event down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center, Moonlight Snowshoe Safari. That moon was spectacular this morning so it should be great uh, tonight to enjoy that activity down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. They've also got uh, great conditions for cross-country skiing as well as snowshoeing. You'll have to call about the ice rink. I think that the fat biking conditions are probably too soft at this point so uh, don't plan on that but they've got rentals for everything down there uh, as well as a great Nordic shop and uh, Blue Moose Bakery and Cafe. The groomers are out doing what they can on the fat bike single track trails off the narrow gauge pathway but don't expect any fat bike riding this weekend. Saturday, this is the day for the Polar Blast. So go up north, check it out. Uh, take a uh, left at the bottom of the access road. Go up, enjoy the Polar Blast. They've got lots of great activities. A winter carnival of sorts with tons of bonfires, live music, as well as snowmobile racing and whatnot. So go check that out. And know before you go with our uh, quad cam. So you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. We've got our live shows happening this weekend, 7.30 to 9 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. So be sure to tune in and uh, find out what's happening on the hill. Have a great day. Enjoy the snow, folks.